Last Friday, February 18, we had a terrible storm in the Netherlands. What causes storms and wind is a complicated matter, but the main reason for these phenomena to happen is a difference in atmospheric pressure. So, when a center of low pressure develops with a system of high pressure surrounding it, you get storm. Wind is caused by air flowing from high pressure to low pressure in order to equalize the pressure. This last Friday there was a high pressure system before the coast of France and above Bulgaria and a low pressure system above Spain and Denmark. Right in the middle between these pressure systems lie the Netherlands. The locations with equal at atmospheric pressure in this video are connected with lines called isobars. In the southwest we can see that the isobars are lying very close to each other, which indicates a very strong wind. We focus on this part, where there are four isobars depicting an atmospheric pressure of, from north to south, 1000, 1002, 1004 and 1006 hectopascal, respectively. The distance between 1000 and 1006 hectopascal is around 50 kilometers. Wind, speed, wind speeds in this area were measured around 23.9 meters per second, that is about 86 kilometers per hour, with gusts of wind reaching 97 kilometers per hour. So a difference in air pressure of 6 hectopascals, that is 0.087 psi at a distance of around 50 kilometers causes wind speeds of, a an, of an average of 90 kilometers per hour. Mount Everest is 8.85 kilometers high. The average atmospheric pressure at ground level is 1040 millibars, that is 14.7 psi. The average atmospheric pressure at the top equals 265 millibars, that is 3.84 psi. The difference in atmospheric pressure therefore is 10.86 psi. There is wind around Mount Everest, but it is glacier wind that blows at around 10 meters per second or around 36 kilometers per hour and it blows horizontally. There is no wind blowing upwards. So we have storms caused, causing wind speeds of 90 km per hour over an atmospheric pressure difference of 0.087 psi over a distance of 50 km. And we have winds resulting from an atmospheric pressure difference of 10.86 psi over a distance of almost 9 km with speeds of around 36 km per hour blowing in the wrong direction. What is the difference here? The wind, in a horizontal difference in atmospheric pressure of 0.087 psi over a horizontal distance of 50 km in the storms in the Netherlands, blows horizontally. The wind in a vertical difference in atmospheric pressure of 10.86 psi over a vertical distance of almost 9 km around Mount Everest isn't blowing vertically at all, it is blowing horizontally. How to explain this? Or is there any flat earther with an explanation that works on a flat earth? And is not an answer, it is a deflection. <laughs>